Deep River, 1993, by Japanese author Shusaku Endo revolves around four distinct Japanese individuals who converge at India's sacred Ganges River. Each of them grapples with personal traumas and seeks to reconcile with their pasts. Shusaku Endo, regarded as a member of the third generation of modern Japanese authors who rose to prominence in the post-World War II era between 1953 and 1955, crafted this soulful narrative. The New York Times Book Review hailed Deep River as a soulful gift to a world he keeps rendering as unrelievedly parched. Isabi, a reserved man, spirals into despondency following his wife's passing and embarks on a journey to India in search of her reincarnated soul. Kaguchi, a former Japanese soldier who endured severe illness and hunger during World War II in Burma, carries the weight of his friend's death. This friend had saved his life during the war but succumbed to guilt-induced despair. Numida, a children's author whose only companions are animals, feels compelled to repay a minor bird that aided him. Mitsuko, an atheist who has lived a loveless life, dedicates herself to working with the impoverished. All of them find solace and answers in their pilgrimage to the Ganges. The story commences with Isabi concealing the truth about his wife Keiko's terminal cancer diagnosis. As her condition deteriorates, she comes to terms with her impending death and confides in Isabi about her belief in reincarnation. She implores him to search for her after her passing. Isabi, deeply moved by Keiko's request, embarks on a quest to locate her reincarnated self and reaches out to researchers in the field. During their journey, Mitsuko, a volunteer who cared for Isabi's wife during her illness, crosses paths with him on the same tour of India. Mitsuko, a divorcee who has led a solitary existence, learns that Atsu, a religious man she pursued during her college days, is also in India. She has only encountered him once since their college years. In an earlier encounter, Mitsuko had visited Atsu, then a seminary student, while she was on her honeymoon in France. During this meeting, they engaged in a discussion about Atsu's concept of onion, a deity representing both love and suffering simultaneously. Numida, the children's author, has made a remarkable recovery from a nearly fatal bout of tuberculosis, with a mina bird as his sole companion during his illness. He believes the bird passed away in his place during his final operation. Among the larger group of tourists embarking on the journey along the Ganges, Mitsuko, Isabi, Kaguchi, and Numida decide to stay behind. Mitsuko tends to Kaguchi, who falls ill. Isabi continues his quest to find his reincarnated wife, though he doesn't succeed in locating her. Nevertheless, memories of Keiko and their shared life stir within him. Numida releases a mina bird as a symbolic gesture of gratitude for the one that sacrificed itself for him. Kaguchi recites a prayer in honor of deceased soldiers, while Mitsuko discovers Atsu working among impoverished and suffering Hindus, aiding in the cremation of the deceased whose ashes are placed in the sacred waters of the Ganges. During their stay by the Ganges, the assassination of Indira Gandhi leads to public unrest. Atsu, fully dedicated to Onion, intervenes to prevent a group of men from attacking a Japanese tourist, nearly suffering a severe beating in the process. As the group prepares to depart, Mitsuko notices that Atsu's condition is deteriorating rapidly. The Japan Times praised Deep River, stating, For a book that deals with such profound ideas, Endo's nuanced approach and subtle humor make the journey accessible. The young Japanese couple's complaints about the dirtiness and poor service in India, humorously played upon as a stereotype, provide welcome comic relief. This concise novel combines depth with a swift narrative, offering a poignant exploration of regret and acceptance, and a darkly humorous social satire that encapsulates the evolving dynamics of modern Japanese society. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles Times characterized Deep River as a story of a kind typically undertaken by seasoned writers, an honest, seemingly straightforward exploration of the essence of life. While Tolstoy's The Death of Ivan Ilyich is a well-known Western example, this approach is also a part of Japanese tradition, as evidenced by Natsum Soseki's Light and Darkness and Akira Kurosawa's film Ikiru, Living. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.